So the problem I want to do here is a limiting reactance one. So it is a forward only direction. Um, it is not something at equilibrium. So whatever reaction is going to happen is only going to produce products. And it's limiting because we have two um, of the reactants and we don't know which one's going to run out first. So once this runs out, it is going to determine how much yield we're going to get over here. Um, so once again, this is not an equilibrium equation. This is actually a problem that's going to go run all the way to the right. So you're only going to produce products. We are going to end it when we run out of reactants and we want to know how much we're going to have at the end. So we're going to use rice, which is the recipe, the inventory, the change, and then what we end with. So hopefully that makes sense. So we have the following equation, and this is our recipe. This is how we know how much of each part that we have. We have calcium sulfate, calcium sulfite, so calcium sulfide, and then calcium sulfate, and we're going to make these two products, calcium oxide and um, sulfate. And what we want to do is figure out what we need of each one. So first we need a balanced equation. So this is actually going to take a couple of tries at first. So we have calcium, sulfur, and oxygen. Unfortunately, this is not a double substitution. We're not just flipping the partners. Um, because it will be kind of weird because they're both calcium. But we are going to have um, new stuff that's going on. So first we have one, two calciums. One here, so we're going to put a two here. There, now we have two um, sulfates or sulf sulfurs. We have one, two here, and here we have one. So we're gonna put a two here, and then we're gonna count oxygens. Here we have four, and here we have six. So it is not equal. So we're gonna try again. So we're gonna double um, our oxygen, which is on the side. So instead of a one, we're gonna put a two, and then try again and see how close we are. So if we put a two there. So now we have three calciums, so that means I need a three here. We also have two sulfate, two sulfurs, so that means we need to put a two here. And then, oh, actually three sulfurs. Let me see, one, two, three. So I apologize, three sulfurs, so I need a three here. And then let's count oxygen, so two times four is eight. Three plus three times two is six is nine. So again, we're not there yet. So we're gonna try again. So we're gonna double this one more time or add one more. So instead of two, we're gonna have three and see if we're lucky. I think we'll be pretty close. So we're gonna get rid of these and then redo the problem again. So now we have one, two, three, four calciums. Okay, and four on this side. We have one, four sulfurs. So that means I need four right here. And now I have three times four, which is 12 oxygens. Four times one, four. Four times two, eight, 12. So now we have a balanced equation. So I'm gonna get rid of this stuff, which helped me balance it. So here is the main thing. This is our recipe. One part, one part calcium sulfide, three parts calcium sulfate will make me four and four. So that is my recipe. And then I'm going to do each one of these and end with expected because we want to know how much the main thing is I want to know what's my yield. <laughs> if I could spell. I want to know my yield or how many products I'm going to make. Okay, that's my main idea. Okay, I have this much stuff. How much am I going to make? So unfortunately with grams, it's not very useful. Um, this is in moles. It could be measured in molarity, um, atoms, but grams isn't a good comparison because each of these have different grams, so we can't compare it there. So we need to change this into initially um, moles. So I have 191, 191 grams of calcium sulfite and I want to change it to moles. So I'm going to get the molar mass. So here it is, 40.08, 40, 40.08 plus 32.07, and I get 72.15. And that will give me my moles. So 191 divided by 72.15, is going to give me 2.65 moles. I rounded it off. 
We're going to do the same thing here. So we have 919 grams, and I want to change it into moles. So this is calcium, which has 40.08, plus sulfur, which is 32.07, plus, and we have four oxygens. So four times 16. So this one has a molar mass of 136.15 equals one mole and we want to know what that is so 191 divided by answer and it gives me 6.75 moles all right so we want to find out which one is my limiting reagent so the main goal here is we have a one to three ratio so that means that I need for every one of these I need three of these so if I have 2.65 moles if I multiply that by three I need 7.95 moles of this one and I don't I only have 6.75 so that means this is my limiting okay so that oh so this oh I messed up shoot this is my recipe sorry up here which is this one three four four and this is my inventory right here I have 2.65 moles of this 6.75 moles of that one I was able to figure out that this is my limiting because if I have 2.65 moles of that if I multiply this part by three I guess seven something so this is way less than that one so this is the amount that we have um, so then the change is going to be how much here. So I'm going to consume everything here. So I'm going to have minus 6.75 moles of this. And I'm going to divide this by 3. 6.75 divided by 3. And that means I'm going to consume 2.25 moles of this one. So if I subtract these two, 0 0.4 this is 0 now if I'm going to make this I'm going to create the same amount so I'm going to consume this one this is a 3 to 4 ratio so that means if I want to change it to this it's going to be 4 thirds of this so 6.75 times 4 divided by 3 equals 9 and this is also 4 so this is also 9 so remember if to get this it was um, 6.75 moles of CaSO4 and then we're looking at the relationship in this we're going to multiply 4CaO to 3CaSO4 so that's what I'm doing here so here this unit cancel out this one and then so 6.75 times 4 divided by 3 and gives me 9 I don't have to do the wake work again here because it's the same coefficient so this one's also going to be nine so this is going to be nine this is going to be nine moles moles so if i'm using this one i'm going to produce this one so that's why it's plus initially we had zero amounts of each one so this is what we're going to come up with um, so we first had the balance equation which is our recipe, then figure out which one's the limiting, which was this one, then figure out what would the change be. So here it's going to be minus the limiting, so 6.75. This was divided by 3 to get 2.25, because that's the ratio here. And we get 0.4 left, 0 left, and then we did the ratio again to figure out how much we're going to make here, so 9 moles of each. Now, if you want to know how many grams of each, then you're just going to multiply by the molar mass. So we had 9 moles of CaO. So you're just going to multiply by the molar mass. Ca is 40.08 plus oxygen, which is 16. So that is 56.08. So times 9. So that means we're going to get 504.08. 7 grams of CaO and then you could do the same thing of the what, 9 moles of SO2 and we want to know what the molar mass of that one so S is 
and then plus 32 for oxygens. So that's 64.07 times 9, and we get 576.6 grams of SO2. Okay, so this is a rice problem. Um, the main thing is figuring out which one is limiting. In this case, it is this one um, because we needed a 1 to 3 ratio. If this was 2.75 times 3, it was going to consume at least 7. Um, since we only have 6.75 moles, this became our limiting. We're going to base this to figure out what our change is going to be. So the change is 6.75, but we're going to divide by 3 to get 2.25, and then multiply by 3 fourths, or sorry, 4 thirds to get the following answers. Um, and then if we need to do one more unit change, we could do it at the end. So this is an example of rice. Um, it, it is complicated, but once you get the hang of it, it's actually fairly straightforward. It's just a bunch of little unit conversions here and there.